test, test, uh, test, 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make sure we kick that so we don't end up kicking off. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing well. Oh, it is Friday. Thank God. It is Friday. Whew, what a week. I don't know what's been going on, but man. Mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> All I can say is wow, like, like wow, wow. Let's get this up where it points a little more at me. <sighs> oh, goodbye, horses. I don't owe Jim a thing. Don't own Jim. I haven't even been drinking. Like, what the hell? It's been like literally, it's been one of those days, one of those weeks. Like, and it's not like it's been horrible, horrible.
it's just been enough bullshit stirred in that uh things just kind of go crazy uh so let's start off this stream right with all the shills uh we have a five dollar texas speech uh leona in the house uh, i haven't even gone through the thing um so uh let's go through the shills we have five dollar at texas beach we have a 25 dollar pink death we have the 50 dollar death shot i think that's why i named it yeah death shot that's uh i actually already pre-mixed it there's three ounces in here there's tequila there is uh maker's mark crown royal and pink death uh pink vodka uh mixed and tequila yeah i already said that mixed in here there's already three ounces already pre-mixed you can either trust me that that's what's in here or it's a urine sample either way it's it tastes like death uh and then and then we have the sweaty ass death ball uh i don't know like i'm pretty sure that there should not be lumps in here um but yes these are the sweaty ass death balls and trust me the smell and taste like Leon's mom's twat with chlamydia and the yeast infection that hasn't been washed for like six months. Like, ah, oh, like these are gross. These are, and the reason I put those at that price is one, I don't want to have to drink another one of these. And two, it there's uh what 200 milliliters there. Like, yeah, there's a lot in here. Uh, Leona's workshop in the house saying, uh, I finally get to judge your resin work. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. But not really. Um, yeah. So that is what we have uh, going on for the shills. Uh, of course, all money that ends up going in over here into the glass that Leon is pissing on, much like my hopes and dreams. Um, every donation that you end up making goes into that and then we end up giving away uh once that fills up this time it's going to be a perfect grade rx 78-2 unleashed uh and yeah so that's what we got going on there and yeah so that's about it miss leona uh if you uh if you haven't checked out her channel she actually has a discord now which i joined last night um she has a i don't know if i have everything on here I don't even know if that's working right now. That may not be working right now. Oh, oh, I don't even have my headphones on. I can't even hear it. And also anything over $25, I, uh, is it $25 or $50? Uh, you get that lovely, uh, little, uh, video that I ended up editing and putting together of, um, of our lovely Leon. Um, I do have his permission to do that. That was the, that was the late tamer version. And it's not even what he's doing. It's literally his friend that is filming it, his reaction to it. Uh, okay. Let's get a glass down here let's turn on the glass cam uh and the reason i did it like this is one uh to limit how much that i can drink and two fuck me uh and two because it's cleaner and faster than grabbing all four bottles and putting it in oh jesus christ oh you would think that that would smell and make. Oh yeah, and Kirby's in the house. I brought Kirby out tonight. Kirby. Okay, take out some frustration on. Yes, Kirby. Um. You would think because the the crown that I have is vanilla, you would think that would help. No, no. It just makes it smell sweet. That's about it. Thank you. Thank you, Mantis. You are fucking awesome. Says happy a Friday fucker. Uh, yes. So, uh, thank you, Mr. Mantis. Happy Friday. If you got one, drink one. Cheers. <laughs> he 
you ever have so oh god that burns all the way oh all the way around it burns like it just it burns oh, it burns like chlamydia i've never had chlamydia i've had the test once that shit hurts i didn't actually have chlamydia though i have a fucking kidney stone that was stuck in my pee hole not that anybody wanted to freaking know but yeah that wasn't why I was burning. That doesn't house things up. Leona says, here in Mexico, we say fondue, fondue, or bottoms up. Mmm, fondue, melted cheese, little mini forks. Mm. Now you're making me crave like melted cheese. Oh God. Uh. Amanda says, yeah, fuck that test. Leo, no, I'm so tempted to donate a hundred just to see you gulp that big ball. Oh. That's fucked up, Leona. That is fucked up. Um, okay, so what we are working on, um, I did work on a little bit off stream last night because I couldn't sleep. Uh, my hands are still dried out as shit. Um, I did end up putting pins into... Yeah. Ooh. Oh, God. That burned on its way back out. Holy shit. Um, so what we ended up doing, let's turn down that a little bit. If I zoom in, it'll automatically jump. So I actually put pins into the legs and the hips because the way it's designed, it's easy to paint on there. Uh, we got a magnet in the base. I am going to, while we're here on stream, I'm going to run a rod up through here into here because it you do get some like tilt back and forth and I'm going to run one through here even though I put a magnet in there um, because I don't trust that. It holds fine going this way, but not the other way. So just for safety purposes, Especially since this is not from my collection. This is going to Miss Sexy Lexi. Um, yeah. I am not looking forward to doing the decals because as you guys saw last night, instead of the decals being all one sheet, there's actually cutouts and stuff. And I foresee that being a freaking nightmare putting it on. In fact, some of them I may end up... I may just end up, you know, trimming with... Uh, an exacto and doing them in sections. I think that's probably going to be the easiest section, easiest way to do it. Uh, Paul Demacio, hello everyone. Uh, by the way, Paul, when is your surgery? Like you said, you were you had to have another one, but you didn't say when you were having it. Uh, and then right now, I am just drilling pinholes to for this foot to go in. Uh, I have glued this part of the leg together and actually just used some liquid resin. Uh, in here to clean up the gaps and make it nice and clean. Uh, this one, which goes, I think this is the one that goes over here. Uh, this one, we're just going to stick a small magnet in because it's non-weight bearing. <clears throat> July 30th. All right. All right. Um, so yeah, I am just going to the holes and just put the magnets in right now for this one do i have to do magnets no but it wouldn't be a build of mine if there weren't Zoom that out a little bit so you guys get you know a halfway decent crotch shot of me while while doing this Ooh. Kind of making my eyes go. Okay, so that's not. So I don't get them mixed up. Let me see. Over in here. Pop in here just in case anybody wants to pop in the stream chat. Ooh-wee! <clears throat> uh... 
da, 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 da. And I've been trying to flirt with the wife, but it hasn't really been uh, working. Um, they are the uh, N52s, Paul. They're, uh, that's the, the ones that I prefer are the N52s. 42s work fine. Uh, 35s are, are okay if you're, if it's just literally like a light thing. But I prefer, uh, I prefer the 52s if I can get them. Uh, Manta says, I'm thinking about ordering another resin figure from GK. The one I ordered is held up because Sazvi and Sananju head were pre-ordered and now my order is stuck waiting for them. Uh, you can always, if it's through GK, you can always message them and say, hey, can we ship uh, such and such and then um, just bill me the, the shipping or whatever for the uh, the other parts, other stuff when they come in. They're usually pretty reasonable with that. They have a couple that I want to pick up, but I'm not... I don't foresee myself picking up anymore. I ordered this one. I used points for this one, so it literally didn't cost me anything. Damn, I can't even see in that little hole. Um, let's see here. Dad, yeah, Dad says uh, there's a, a few stuff I'm going to get eventually, but this damn phone and laptop are dent in my savings. Yes. Yeah, that'll do it. We'll get out our handy dandy metal ruler. Could use many things, but this guy has been with me for many years. Now, as usual, I always end up saying, make sure, and no matter how sure you are, make sure you mark your, uh, magnets with a sharpie just so you can make sure that you don't screw up like i did on something i don't remember what i ended up screwing up on but i just screwed up on something and i got magnets backwards and it sucks ass so what i'm gonna do is take this cast now, when you have a little, uh, like a little hole or a little spot and you can't directly get the glue in there, you can do it on a Q-tip or I just put a little bit on the bottom of the magnet. Kind of line it up. Push it down in the hole. And sometimes you'll have to leave the, the thing on there or you can take a Q-tip or not Q-tip, uh, a toothpick to hold the magnet in. To be able to pull, like the back of a drill bit works perfect for getting that into little spots. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mantis says, shit, might have to do that after the stream. Dead Death got some boba for tonight. Nice. Uh, nothing is more sad than trying to assemble a resin kit and watching Magnus fling the part 30 food across the room. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was all bad. Um, and I haven't really cleaned up any of the seam lines or anything yet. I'm just more concentrating on the build. But that holds perfectly fine. We it doesn't need to be super tight, like it's non weight bearing, so. That will work perfect. If I'm super, I can tell just by the feel that the magnets aren't quite touching, like that doesn't quite seat in there. So if I'm super concerned with that, I have um, some thinner ones. I can always end up adding, if I'm super concerned, 
and that actually filled up that gap so and once it's all done like literally you can glue it together if you want uh it is completely up to you but i like doing this because like this part is completely different color than her skin color so um right now i need to do uh this real bit for my brass rod now because this one is weight bearing i am go <clears throat> I am going to put a brass rod in here. We are not magnetizing this one. You don't have to go super deep. want to be supportive <sighs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brass rod I'm going to take just my sanding stick just kind of round down the end here Leon is running late, so he said he'll be late to the show. So, but I'm sure he'll make up with it when he gets here. Uh, trying to make me feel like a worthless piece of shit. Uh, let's see here. Dead Death says, uh, put in an order with KJ Magnetics for two millimeter ones. Uh, the two millimeter batch I got from Amazon wasn't in 52, sadly, which makes them useless for what I need. Yeah. Like, I keep trying to find... Wait, uh, don't want magnets touching anyhow with N52. If they shatter, be too hard to shatter them out. Um, and other discards. Oh! What's that over there? Well, hello, lovely. And other discards. Oh. Head over there. Hi, Leona. Oh, I heard an echo. There am again. Hi. Damn, can't listen. To, can't hear you. Hold on. Headphones. Why? Why you know? Why cannot no listen? What? <clears throat> why you no <know> work? <sighs> Technology. Mm -hmm. Too early to be a boomer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, I can oh. hear you. There you go. There we go. Yeah, my my fucking settings were fucked. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, I hate when Discord does that. Like it just decides hey we're going to use this for your headphones and whatever no that's not what i have said <laughs> the thing is i have a software installed on my on my laptop here in my workshop um so that it, it can minimize the noise when i'm doing voiceovers for my videos yeah yeah but it like the the computer automatically like determines that that software is like my microphone <laughs> oh god okay so gotcha. it's like ah oh, don't switch god damn it yeah. so yeah every time I'm like i can't hear you oh shit it's a stupid software again 
yeah mine mine ends up doing that it'll like act like uh it thinks that either my microphone is my headphone or it'll act like my ps4 controller is my microphone or my head i'm like stop it stop really okay i might need to extend Copy. Yeah, so we're gonna have to run rods up all the way up through. Right up into her well not into her booty. We're not gonna have to go that far. Pretty sure there was an anime about a guy pile dri using a pile driver of a dragon's butt not too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be surprised. You need to awaken a certain fetish in said dragon. Oh god. Who obviously was very conveniently female. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, and one of the reasons that um that Kirby is out on the shelf is I got contacted because they're like, oh hey, we have some new releases because it's Shark Week, so we have new releases that are shark theme. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Appreciate the thought. Well, guess well, I mean, what? Do they have like shark penises? Because those are very interesting looking. <laughs> yes, they're, they are just supposed to be shark penises. No, you, have you seen an echidna penis? That is interesting. Uh, what? Echidna. You know, the animal? Echidna? What the fuck is like it? Like knuckle? You don't know what an echidna is? No. I think it, it's, it's sort of like a porcupine. You you, you know okay. the game, you know, like Sonic yeah. and Knuckles? You yeah, know yeah, Knuckles? Yeah. E knuckles the echidna? Okay. I... Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, I have to Google this shit. Oh, okay. Google at your own. Um... Yeah, no, I'm not looking for a kid in a penis. I'm just looking. <laughs> How do you spell that? Uh, because it sounds like a kid. E C H I D N A. Uh. Oh, okay. They have like a long snout and stuff. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's like a porcupine yeah. type of thing. Kind of. Uh, looks... but yeah, their penis is like. They have. As they say. Penises. Uh, it looks like a hand at the end of the penis. Wait. Yeah, That's four now you now you have but depending on the angle it sort of, it oh. sort of looks like it has four ball sacks oh you don't know what you're looking at what <laughs> what is that it looks like a... i mean there, there are much worse things in the world than that it looks like a hairless cat paw what the ah yeah like i said if you don't know what you're looking at from the angle yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I know. I know it's Adi Fretta. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Well, uh, uh. uh let's see here. Uh, Legato Starwin. Good evening, everyone. I found a new MILF hentai called Hitazuma Offline. Enjoy. Well, thank you, Legato, for our nightly hentai distribution. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do this. We're gonna. Let's do it. I almost dumped this white glint. Make it work on something else. Oh God, are you working on a white glint again? Yeah. Oh God. Do you just hate yourself? I, I mean, yes, clearly. <laughs> I mean, it's great. It would uh, to me, it would be a better build and everything if it was a little bit bigger and you could actually handle the parts. It's a, it's a, it's a good size. It's a perfectly fine size. I don't want it any bigger than it already is. It's already a pain to deal with all the shit as as there is on it. Mm -hmm. I just wish I had more color separation, but this is like one of their older. This is like one of their older kits because it was part of the Armor Core line. But it's definitely one of the better Armor Core kits. The, the nine ball sucked. I, I mean, 
frankly, all the smaller ones just sucked ass. Yeah. I think the, was it the Ray, the Raylard? Every single one of those was terrible. Like, like literally, if you don't glue, like, like you literally, if you don't glue some of the shoulders, if you don't, like, glue the shoulders shut, it will, like, I've literally had kits of those, like, during, like, temperature fluctuations, like, the shoulders will just explode and shoot, like, six parts everywhere. Oh, God. Personally, I mean, the white coat's still a good kit, just expensive as shit whenever it goes out of production. Yeah, personally, myself, like, I think... I think those kits would be better as pre-done figures for display. I mean, they, they did them in the past. It wasn't it wasn't there wasn't a good sell though because everyone because like, like, all everyone that likes Mecha wants to build a kit. <laughs> yeah, th I mean this is true. Later, Paul. You take care. Have a good one, Paul. Um. Uh, let's see here. Legato says, Hentai is the hat that keeps me going uh, at this point in my life. Every day I wake up and say to myself, what new Hentai is there to discover today? Well, if, it makes, if it makes you happy, it doesn't put you in jail. I think the case still has the best white glint I've ever seen done. The case still definitely did the best one. You remember Decay, right, Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Mecha Lounge? Uh-huh. German guy. I think he still posts on Instagram, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't remember the last time he fucking posted on Instagram. Mm. But let me check. I haven't seen, I haven't seen his shin forever. He did a Catwoman by Sideshow a year ago. Can't say I'm a fan of the paint job at all, though. He tried to handbrush the eyelashes, which looks... No, not that. That's horrible. Never, never airbrush eyelashes. No, he, it, he hand painted it. It's just that it's way too much. Too much. Like, that's one of those, like, you'd need that that single it, it looks like hair. A, it looks like a bush on eye, on the eye. Oh god. <laughs> like, 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 cause you know, like eyelashes, you know, it's like, you need a couple strands. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's eyebrows on the eyelash instead of eyelashes. <laughs> I know he did, a, I know he did the Cthulhu one from the, from the Cthulhu cool, cool minis or not mini board game. That thing's a, that thing's a fucking big ass fucking mini. Chip like four feet tall. Well, speaking of that, I'm still waiting for. I got an update on the my mini sorta. They're they're like, oh well, we're waiting for the U.S. distributor. They want to wait until they receive all of the kits to just. And I'm like, and I posted on. <laughs> I posted a question on the thing, and I'm like. Okay, you guys are not being clear. You're saying that the U.S. distributor does not want to ship until they have received everything. Are we talking received everything as far as the Death Goddess? Or received everything for the people's orders like the bus and the things that you are still producing? Because... Fuck that. Like, not all of us ended up ordering those. And, they're like, and they responded, they still didn't answer. Uh, they just replied with um, that the US just uh, distributor. Oh, and I gave a comment of maybe maybe their next release, they might find a new, a new US distributor that will ship out uh, as the orders come in. There's no way they're gonna do that if they don't get a better rate. <laughs> yeah. Cause for them, it doesn't matter what people get it. The more important thing is how much they're saving. Cause right now, shipping stuff like board games and minis is like insanely expensive right now <laughs> um like i know board games i think they're saying prices have gone up for them like more than 40 percent just between manufacturing and shipping okay so like right now anyone that hasn't already raised the price of their stuff are selling at a, like basically a, at a loss i got gotcha. that like, like a giant loss at that um so I know like a lot of them are trying to see if like 
they can like change prices for shipping and stuff or get like like even for like, kickstarters they're trying to see if people are willing to pay to co- cover the fixed price the increased price yeah which is like shitty but like they have no they, they there's nothing like they don't have control of the shipping cost changing from now and then you know so uh, I, they're just stuck in a shitty situation i understand that i'm just like can we get some clarification yeah i, I mean that's the, obviously just them just trying to dodge the question because they don't want to piss off people because it's like it's like you're gonna get it eventually it's just you're probably not gonna be happy with your, with your answer yeah like i just got my email today actually that my Ankh, God of Egypt Kickstarter is finally gonna ship soon because they just they just arrived at the US warehouse finally so which means they're gonna ship within the next week I'm excited to paint one of the I'm probably gonna paint one of those minis and then I'm gonna go back to avoiding doing <laughs> paint jobs for another three weeks <laughs> um. don't be a wussy you need to I need, I need to look up what was inside the Kickstarter so I can figure out which way I want to paint when it comes. I'm really at a really cool Anubis. Hey, Wiley. That was really cool. Yeah, I like the ones that we ended up picking up. Uh, I paid you for those, right? No, you didn't want to. You didn't want to back this one. Well, you thought they were cool, but you didn't want no, to back it. No, no, no. The one with, uh, what was it, Hilda and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you did pay me. But then they charged me extra, apparently, because the price had changed afterwards. Oh. Because the pledge manager had to slightly adjust the prices for some reason. Oh. Well, if I owe you more, just let me know. It's not a big deal. It's like, it's, it's like 16 bucks. It's really not a big deal. They did look good, though. I mean, yes, they look great. <laughs> yeah. I really had to, I wanted to add more stuff, but fuck, it's expensive. Yeah. Well, it's expensive and rightfully so. They're very large, the pieces, I, the new piece I wanted were the, the, the were the new ones they added at the end of the, tel- end of the Kickstarter, which were the, the giant mounted pieces. Oh, okay. One piece I really wanted was, was it the Fre- goddess Freya? Except they gave her like a pregnant belly, which is like, I really didn't care for that. If they got, if, if she wasn't pregnant, I would have definitely bought the piece. Like no questions asked. Yeah, I, I did kind of like. I just, don't care, I just don't care for the pregnant look. Yeah, like, I d- everything else was cool though. I mean, I can kind of, I can get from the mythology why they did that, but yeah. That, that no, no, it's definitely accurate to mytholo- mythology. I just, I just don't care for the look at all. Yeah. Which I, I, I'm not going to fault them for. I just, it personally, is like, makes it impossible for me to, like, buy if I don't, I, like, I have to modify it myself, which I don't want to do. I forget, did you get, uh, which one was it that had the carriage? Did you end up getting that one? Like, the big carriage. ass, the big ass piece? The only Big West one that they had, it was, uh, like, a chariot thing. Um, I think I'm thinking of I know I back kickstarted, like, early spring it was like a it was sort of like um old school fantasy chaos mm-hmm. and it was a it was a it was a it was like um chaos marauders but he's like on like a giant like beast that was well, really cool well i know they had one in that set and it was i thought it was freya though so if you didn't get freya then like they had freya and then there was like this overgrown like chariot being pulled like i think by a bull yeah yeah and i, I know what you're talking about that's from the, it's from the same pledge from ultima pool um i didn't get any of i didn't get any of those big pieces i don't think let me check my kickstarter though and how is the 3d because uh, uh i saw your twitter update uh leona how's your 3d printer thing working for you it's fucked up it didn't really want to fucking it failed like oh. the last piece that i was printing failed uh-huh. um so i'm printing it again and i've already placed an order for another 3d printer <laughs> <laughs> oh right <laughs> so yeah um 3d print new 3d printer comes in on monday <laughs> nice 
Uh, my original one was the Anycubic Photon Mono. Oh, okay. But I just, I don't know, man. I still think 3D printers have a long way to go. So I am purchased, I purchased a different brand, the Frozen Sonic Mono 4K, something like that. Oh, okay. It's twice as big as the one that I currently have, which will enable me to print out that goddamn ass dragon <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for for the print that I'm doing. And obviously, well, I saw videos on YouTube c comparing the results between the two printers and apparently the Sonic Mini, Fro Frozen Sonic Mini, mm -hmm. had really, really good results um, compared to the Mono that I have. So I'm like, mm. I mean, I'll get that one. So, I was thinking of just buying the the other Anycubic uh, model for the for the big prints, but I'm like, let let's try a different, you know, different printer. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I could basically resell the printers if I don't like them at all, and getting printers here in Mexico is super hard. Yeah. So I can get a good buck out of it. Um, if it comes to that, obviously I wouldn't want that because it's a bitch to get them here. So, yeah. So far, um, the only real <laughs> complaint that I have is just the quality of the resin when it's already printed and cured. Mm. Um, when we work with regular polyurethane kits, like the ones who we have right now, like the ones that you're working with right now and yeah. I'm working with, with an Oscar right now. Um, the resin is really soft, you know, for a solid. Yeah. <laughs> but when you work with a print from a 3D resin printer, it feels the same as if you would be working on a tie kit that hard and fucking brittle. Yeah, that's, um, that, that's one thing I have definitely noticed. Like, it's a bitch to sand. It is. It is a really big bitch, and honestly, the only reason why I decided to print out this model was one, because I really, really, really like this character, like, back from back in the day. Mm -hmm. He was my original husbando uh, <laughs> from my teenage years. Um, the other one is because people have been nagging me um, that they want to see me paint and print, uh, well, print slash paint. A 3D model, and I really haven't really found any except this one that I really uh, liked because the artist that did it, like this person, like literally uh, divided the pieces like so well. I'm like, dude, I, I like if I didn't know, I would have guessed that you work with garage kits because mm -hmm. you divided the pieces like so well. So I'm like, yep, yeah, buying that. <laughs> because they, there have been other models that, I, that I'm that i like, oh, that looks cool. But then I look at how they're divided and I'm like, oh, fuck this. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, hell no. <sighs> so that's basically it. I mean, the print is cool. You still have to do a lot of free work on, yeah. on the kit because you have to, I mean, on the regular kits, you need to remove seam lines, you need to remove the tabs, and shit like that. Here, you need to remove all the supports, and it's the same shit. It's just different. It's the same shit, but it's the same different shit. It's, right. Ah. No, I gotcha. Ah, yeah, that was understand. a really cool figure I was printing on 3DS all today. But it also had like 3 million fucking supports and like a million strands of hair. So good luck getting all the supports out while not breaking into the hair strips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Dave, the there, both in that Kickstarter, there was two chariots. Oh, um, was there two? One okay. was, one, yeah, one was Frey, the other one's Minerva. Oh, okay. So you're probably thinking one of the two. Probably Minerva since you were talking about a non-pregnant lady. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, so... I, I did pick up a writer though. I, I picked up the guy on the giant bear. The fucking, uh... Did we lose? I think we lost him. 
Are you trying to boil water for a mantis? Wait. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, chat. Hey Dave. Uh, you're the resin master. Well, I'm not the resin master. Well, okay, maybe master, because Leona's the queen. So, uh, so just wondering, are GKMs recast good kits? Yes. Yes, they are. Someone asked me about that last night. Uh, I would like. They are my go-to. They're who I prefer. If I have a choice and chance, that's who I end up ordering from. Um, let's see. Legato, uh, da, 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 Niku, or, okay. Um, more cushion for the pushing. Just placed another order with GK. Asked him to put my other kits with this one so that uh, they aren't pre-orders. Okay, that works. Um, sorry, when ordered a P Bandai Master Grade Tall Geese Flew. Can't uh, wait to get it. I'm assuming what Legato says, but uh, taking forever to book. Uh, canning some stuff out, uh, from out in the garden. Nine gallons of water has been on high for over an hour and hasn't boiled yet. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. That's a lot of fucking water. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, well, and yeah, if you so only need a, if you only need a, like a liter, I was gonna say like use, use an electric kettle. Those things are like amazing for boiling water fast compared to like using like a stove or something. Um. So as far as so I had the what was it the UC? Uh, I think it was based off the UC. I'm not sure. Um, but the Cassatria, and I was not impressed with that. But I don't know if that had to do with the caster or if that had to do with what they ended up casting from. Uh, but as far as their figures and stuff, I have had zero issues from them. Dave. Oh, Mr. Leon. Hi. We have two guests. Hi. One's just being quiet. There we oh. go. Hi, there we are. Hi. Wow, two girls in one stream? How lucky can a guy get? Two girls in one cup. <laughs> oh my <mind>. god. <laughs> I'll be the cup, Dave. Uh, oh, please Lord. don't. Shut. Oh my god. <laughs> Lexi, let's go. Let's leave these <laughs> two <laughs> dicks alone. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh Lord. Because apparently we're not invited to the sausage party. Uh, <laughs> uh, so hey, I said I'd be the cup. <laughs> Let's say on the contrary, I think we're always invited to the party. <laughs> okay, so maybe not the way you in intended. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the way I thought I was being invited, but I'm always invited. <laughs> all right, so we have that part all done. Let's see, where else are we? Um, let's take a look at the wasty section. If there's one utensil you could imagine John being, what would it be, Dave? Uh, one utensil I can imagine John being. Uh, a butcher's knife. Not a hammer? <laughs> Shit. I was going to say a spork, you know? <laughs> I was going to say a spork. <laughs> nah, I think that's, John that, that, that's, a that's actually offensive to me, because considering I'm Asian. Oh my god. <laughs> Forks is fucking hairs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't say chopsticks, okay? <laughs> <sighs> I'm thinking that three in one sport because it has everything you need all in one. I need to buy some new nippers. I broke my nippers sport. last night. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could imagine the, the sport being very judgmental of what you're choosing to eat with it. Like, why do you need a fork and a spoon at the same time? Like, well, here's my thing. Exactly. I'm thinking that the spork, like, if you ever use a spork, everyone's constantly judging you because why the hell are you using a spork, right? So you get the whole John effect right there. Oh, yeah, just that's not the judged? spork judging you. That's everyone judging you because you're using a spork. Yeah. <laughs> right. Very different. But it does say, you know, you are what you eat. So when you eat with the spork, you're getting little spork particles in your mouth, right? So you're becoming the spork. I, I just like how you're describing this. Right? He is one, he is one with the spork. Heck yeah. He is spork. He is spork. Okay, I can just cut that off and slide it in. Okay. 
Uh, <laughs> that sounded. That's what she said. <laughs> that sounded. <laughs> I'm definitely not talking about plans to just, just somehow later just neuter Leon, Leon during his sleep. I don't know, John. I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of effort. He'd have to go all the way to where you are, and I don't know if he's willing to do all that. I mean, if it saves humanity, maybe. <laughs> it might, actually. Uh, it may not. What makes you think that him cutting you up would be something that he would do to benefit you? Well, it might save humanity because, who mm -hmm. knows, my penis could actually be the next Hitler. I don't know. You, you uh... really think he cares enough about humanity? I mean, she does have a point there. <laughs> <laughs> That is fair. <laughs> my, my, my dream is to own and li live on an isolated island with very affordable delivery so I don't have to interact with people. Right? And cable Ooh. internet. <laughs> no tariffs. <laughs> fuck, fuck cable, just give me internet. I was gonna say, who needs cable? Just have internet and I can watch whatever I want. People Wait. that like getting ripped off by Comcast. Old people! Boomers! <laughs> Yeah, I deal with plenty of those on a daily basis. No, thank you. I, I feel like the, the more intelligent boomers have already weaned themselves off cable because they realize, because cable decides to, they're like, man, we're losing customers. What should we do? Hell yeah, raise prices. That makes sense. That's not going to get more people to quit at an exponential rate. Uh, the stubborn ones will stay. No, there's a breaking point. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, even like all the streaming services that I have combined, including like Amazon Prime, they don't equal a cable bill at all. Well, it's only, ironically, that's only because <laughs> cable keeps on bumping its prices up. Yeah. Because we keep on, we're getting more streaming services every year now, and it's only ma it's only staying under cable now because, <laughs> well, shit, <laughs> cables are also bumping their prices for no fucking reason. Hmm. Okay, so I can glue that shut. That's convenient. I'm trying to find That's it. That's one less thing to deal with. Clear shot. Of it's probably a vicious cycle. Honestly. I mean, it definitely is. Because, you know, they have to raise prices to stay in business, but... I mean, it's not it's not to stay in business, though. It's, it's to literally... Because they don't want to lose any profit whatsoever. Yeah. So, so they're just banking on people being so sti being so lazy to not want to quit their service when it, it is actually causing people to leave. I mean, I'm not sure what their margins look like. It's healthy enough. At least last time I looked. But like I said, they keep on raising prices and people are leaving because they keep on raising prices, so it's probably not as good anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, the biggest problem with cable really is like you have to watch advertisements like oh my god streaming services you don't have to do that at all it's great some of them you don't some a lot of a lot of stream services now are putting ads in them so well no they offer you two true. different options you can either pay for the option that has ads or pay more so that you don't yeah uh. and even and even there's even some now that just straight up don't give you an option to avoid ads true or I mean, there's always the option to embrace your inner captain hook I, I know there's like some like gaming services that are playing to like throw ads in the middle of your games now oh god which i swear to god if they implement that i'm going to just lose my shit i mean they're already there already is a patent but i think i think it was i think it was ford was it just car maker but they added up they added a new um patent so when you drive past a billboard, your car scans the billboard and plays the, plays the ad on your uh, car's little digital screen. The fuck? That's... God, why? I would just look at the billboard if I wanted to look at it. That yeah. sounds like there's going to be a law against it. <laughs> well, they already have a patent, so... But that also sounds like an easier way to hack into something, because you're well, making yeah. it that accessible. That's what's going to get well, the issue. I mean, you act like you have to like secure it with ever 
a concern for the people at that represent us. True. Well, they wouldn't even know what the hell to do with a technology like that. They'd be like, oh, oh what's this technology? Oh. And he's got a point, too. Look, I've seen Eagle Eye, all right? I know how this shit ends. Remember, we had a senator that we had a, that called uh, net neutrality Medi Medicare for, uh, for the internet, which is not what it is. <laughs> Yeah, but I think we've seen that the people who uh, have the seats may not necessarily have the intelligence that backs that up. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's a popularity it's a popularity contest, first and foremost. And some places have way more stupid people voting for them than others. Not even that. I think it's just the rich are the rich. And then there's, so and then there's the whole thing where it's, it's almost seat. impossible to get out of incumbents unless they do something like, you know, pedophilia. Even then, it doesn't stop them. <laughs> oh, I know. There's one example right now. It's still sitting. It has still the seat right now. There's more. I'm positive. There's more than one. Yeah, I know. But there's, there, there, there's, there's one that's under open federal investigation. That is true. Uh, let's see here. Going through the chat. Uh, Mantis says, "Yeah, electric stove. It's slow as fuck." Um, I finally got my parents to drop cable. Uh, like YouTube does that pay for YouTube red, um, so it doesn't have commercials. Just wait till the end. The car drives last one of thousand strip club billboards in Dallas. It reads it out. It's someone's kids in the car. Um, so wait, Mantis, you're in Dallas, right? Is Mantis in Dallas? I think so. If you if you if you have a sweet tooth. There's a mochi donut place opening up there in like a week. Oh yeah, check it out. Oh yeah, he wasn't in the chat last night, or he wasn't here last night. I'll look up the exact opening date. <laughs> it's, oh, today. It opened up today. Denton Road. Uh, he says, yeah, Greenville, close to Dallas. Basically, it's where all the Koreans are. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you oh, ever Dave, wanted to make is this the Dave, is this the streaming Discord now? Is that what this is? Uh, no, I popped over here a bit. I was over in the other Discord, and then John told me that Leona was over in here, so I just popped over here. Oh, okay. Why are you people at? So, I just zapped on a one. Oh, okay. It's. I, I would have swore she just said something about being black. I, I, I'm pretty sure I misheard her, but it's fine. I said <laughs> that I didn't know where the fuck oh. you guys were at, so I just oh. hopped in and the last thing you invited me to. Okay, that's fine. It works. That's Sorry, we're doing. complicated individuals, Leona, okay? We don't know what we're doing. Oh, oh that I don't know what they're doing. Basis. Don't let me in with that. Basically, Mantis, if you if you like donuts and you like something that's chewy and you like something that's really sweet, you'll enjoy it. It's also like an hour drive for, from where you, from Greenville if you're like dead set of Greenville. But that whole area has nothing but good Korean food, so there's endless things to eat there. Like li literally, that, that the whole two block, there's two little shopping strips right next to that highway at entrance ex entrance left exit. It's all Korean food. It's all good. So I learned something today. So evidently, the f city county of Fresno has been in negotiations. They won't name who, who, what company, but they are evidently well known. They have uh, multiple parks in California, and there's only one place I can think of that has that, and that would be Six Flags. Um, have been and are in negotiations uh, for opening up a theme park in Fresno, someplace that's located in central california that's close